to bingo. Me, Me there's, there's nothing, nothing in the world I like more than bingo. Almost every month. The premise of Red Dot Player's current production, La Belle Sur, is simple enough. Germaine, the principal character, has won a million stamps. And once those stamps are pasted into booklets, she can exchange them for goods, like wallpaper, linens, and a whole lot of other finery. I don't even know how much a million is, but who cares? A million's a million. To help with the gargantuan task of pasting all those stamps, Germaine invites all the women in her life to help. So what could possibly go wrong? Well, a whole lot, as a matter of fact. It really is about kind of living on false dreams or false illusions, kind of like we buy lottery tickets now, the hope that we're, you know, somehow we're going to have a better life through money. And of course, the characters all find out that that really doesn't make them happy. And in fact, it brings out the worst in all the characters. Oh, you should see all the beautiful things they have. I think I'll be able to take everything. I'm going to redecorate the whole house. Ever since rehearsals began, the actors have wondered if this show is a farce or an allegory. And they think perhaps it's a bit of both which gives them all some comfort when delivering lines that are way out of their own character, but perfectly in line with those they portray on stage. The thing that I like most about my character is how obnoxious she is. She wants everybody else to mind their own business, but yet she herself wants to know all the information. I don't know how much about her I love, but I do admire her determination to be strong in front of everybody and put on a brave face even though her life is falling apart but she's still she's still got it <laughs> what are you doing here i told you i never wanted to see you again well i heard my big sister had won a million stamps so i thought i'd come over and take a look <gasps> well angeline what are you doing here La Belle is a two-act play written by Michel Tremblay in 1965. When it premiered in 1968, it set off a bit of controversy, firstly because of the language, and then because it dared to portray working-class women doing working-class things. Also, because some in the cast of characters dared to go after men. We performed a little excerpt at International Women's Day the other day, and even though these are women from the 1960s from Quebec, so you know, quite a long ways away both geographically and, and chronologically, uh, I think it still really resonated with the audience there. So we all know what it's like to be oppressed and to, uh, to not be able to do the things we want to do or say the things we want to say. So even though it is 2013, I, I think it's still very relevant. When I get up in the morning, he's lying there staring at me, waiting. Every morning I open my eyes and there he is, waiting. Every night I get into bed and there he is, waiting. It's not an anti-male play at all. It is a play that does look at patriarchy and, and sort of exposes problems with it, but it's not about sort of hating men or ostracizing men or anything like that. When I left home, I was head over heels in love. I couldn't even see straight. No one existed for me but Johnny. Please note, this show contains some coarse language and content some may find offensive, but it also contains some powerful, heartbreaking performances that may have you thinking about the forces that confine your life. From the stages of Les Belles for Go Okanagan in Kelowna, I'm Tammy Williams.